It's been one month since that major flooding caused catastrophic damage in Lemonster, washing out streets, driveways, train tracks, and leaving homes filled with water. And the cleanup in Lemonster continues weeks later. And as part of our commitment to our communities, we want to check in with the good people of Lemonster to see just how they're doing. WBZ's Mike Sullivan has the story. Bad memories are hard to forget, even more difficult when they sit in the palm of your hand. It was coming in so quickly. Rainwater rushing into Ethan Rawson's Lemister home during heavy rains a month ago. But it's hard to depict in, in an instant how quickly everything just is gone. A time lapse from his security camera shows how quickly it rose. Ethan tried to clear the sewer drains. You're seeing a lot of things float by you that uh, don't necessarily make you feel very good. His heart sank further as he entered into his basement. Your wedding photos, your baby photos, the things that your parents give you, and you see all your things underwater. The Rossons were told their home doesn't sit in a floodplain, so they didn't have flood insurance. Everything becomes your responsibility in that moment. Now, a month later, normalcy is only just beginning thanks to donations from friends and family. You just were able to do laundry for the first time? Yeah. In a month? Huh. How did that feel? Uh, it felt really good. It's only pretty shameful sometimes to feel like you've got to ask someone to help you do your laundry. Rawson says this area of Blanchard Street flooded in 2018, in part due to runoff from a nearby country club. These homes also sit in a gully. If this is a continuous occurrence in this area alone, I just feel like something can be done. When you have a storm like this, there's no drainage system. You couldn't build a drainage system big enough to handle the amount of water that came down in a short amount of time. Mayor Dean Mazzarella spent the day touring damage and recovery efforts with FEMA. This is their assessment period. We have a, about 1,100 uh, farms that people have filled out in of damage of all kinds. FEMA will be taking their assessment to the state. They can then request President Biden for a disaster declaration. In Lemonster, I'm Mike Sullivan, WBZ News.